Too hot? Yeah, it's warm. But good. Uh-huh. Dude, I can't even hold on to it. Mmm. Ow. Good. Alrighty, welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Current situation here. Uh, my good buddy B-Rock and myself have just been kind of shacking it up in this tent and my good buddy Connor's cabin and um, we've had a blast so far. I don't know if you've been keeping up with the videos or not, but um, we're up here doing some fishing, doing some camping and uh, the weather's been gorgeous up north. So we've been getting really lucky. Before we kind of go out and lake hop today, I guess I'll give you a rundown of the inside of this. Um, after like three or four days of camping in a tent, uh, especially with a guy like myself and Brock, it's, it's not clean at all. So last night we actually put on the outside of this. Usually it's just a screen tent, but um, it rained last night, so it held up amazing. There's no water in here, so that works awesome. This is actually the um, uh, the quick set sky camper. Obviously this works as a tent, but um, I think the main purpose of this is for like an outdoor screen and porch. You can do some grilling, hanging out, but uh, yeah. So down here, uh, we've got our cots. They've been kind of used and abused. Um, Brock has like just a bunch of cords and crazy stuff on his uh, side of the room. Uh, my side of the room, I've got a bunch of blankets and clothes and everything everywhere. But uh, yeah, just I've got a cot, I've got a little foam pad, I've got another blanket, I got my sleeping bag, and then I've got this like janky, like car seat heater thing that I just lay in there, and it would originally like you know plug into this and go in your car, and I've just been plugging it into this little power pack here, so I've got like a heated blanket every night. It's not even like cold enough to be using a heated blanket, but like it's it's pretty cozy. So. Uh, we're gonna probably crush some breakfast right now. I think some eggs and some bacon. Uh, head to the lake and do some bassing. So stick with me, stay tuned. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my Good. Adjust it onto there. Oh. Good, okay, sorry to take away from the video. I just have a few disclaimers, things I wanna say. Disclaimer number one. Uh, this day when I was out fishing was very windy. Like, so windy. So there's gonna be some wind noise, I apologize. Second thing I wanna say, kind of the whole duration of this trip that me and Brock went on, uh, I was using a website called Omnia Fishing. Omnia, Omni, uh, Omnia Fishing is an extremely cool intuitive website. Um, basically, not only where I purchase tackle, but where I get a lot of information, tips, tricks, articles, I shop by lake. I just, I get a lot of information here on kind of what baits you should be throwing in that location for that time of year. This just helps me out, especially down south where I've fished never. And um, I kind of have some recommendations from some people who fish those lakes. Either way, super cool website. Um, check it out, I'll link it down below. But uh, I've done some fishing reports myself kind of on these Wisconsin lakes. I've been getting a lot of questions. Where are you in Wisconsin? Where are you fishing? And I'm not gonna disclose that to any of you uh, unless you go on to Omnia and check out kind of maybe the northeast section of Wisconsin. You might find some articles from me, but uh, either way, let's get back into the video. I apologize for the wind noise. And um, yeah, check out Omnia Fishing. Alrighty guys, we have made it to lake number one. The access was um, a little sketchy, which usually means the lake should be good. Um, we have no idea if largemouth or smallmouth even exist in this lake. There's like no research on it, but it looks super cool. The water's like tannicky brown. So yeah, let's go start casting around and hopefully find some bass. There's one. There we go, there's a little bass. On a swim jig, okay. There is some life in this lake. Haven't really caught anything bigger than that though, so. White altering tackle swim jig though. That was my sunglasses. Ugh. Windy warm water. Carol Baskins. Woo. There's another one. There's another fish. Oh, Ugh, not bad. Not bad. God, look at even in this crazy wind, I'm burning as fast as I can. They are eating it. Absolutely choking it. Whew. A million fish. A million fish got to be right here. All 
Alrighty, I don't know what I've shown you guys, what I haven't. Um, it is crazy, crazy windy out here, but wind is sometimes your friend. So basically, um, we all moved down to kind of the shallowest part of the lake. This is like a one to three foot flat. It looks like a bunch of old lily pads used to grow here. Like the old pad stems are here. This is definitely the warmest water we found. It's 58 degrees. The wind is hucking through here, but there is a ton of fish through here. We're basically just burning chatterbaits as fast as we can and um, catching fish after fish after fish. No giants yet, but a lot of fish. So maybe we just gotta weed them out. Either way, this is a blast. Let me tell you, probably the biggest tool um, while fishing in these conditions, at least for me. So if you can see behind me, I don't have talons or power poles or anything like that, but I do have an Altrex and I hit spot lock and it holds me right here so I can just fan cast all of this junk. Fan cast, fan cast, fan cast, fan cast. And the boat doesn't even move. So huge shout out to Minn Kota, huge shout out to the Altrex. Um, I definitely couldn't fish these fish without it. Maybe if I had an anchor, I just threw it out here and stayed here. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of keep drifting around this flat, uh, burn the chatterbait as fast as I can, and um, just reef on them. So yeah, let's get back to bassins. <laughs> Alrighty, talking with the boys, um, they kind of found the same results I did. A lot of fish, just no big ones, and that's okay. Today has been absolutely crazy fun. But um, for now, I think we're gonna trailer, head down the road, hit a brand new lake, because we still got like four more hours of light. So, let's go bassin'. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry again, I'm sorry. I am sorry from pulling you away from the video again. But like I said earlier, um, if you want to fish any of these lakes that were kind of juice loaded with these little dinkers or um, some of the really good lakes we found kind of up in this like Northeast Wisconsin area. I have fishing reports that I've kind of made um, for all these lakes on omniafishing.com So check it out. I'm not gonna tell you the lakes. They're just gonna give that away But um, yeah, let's get back to the video. Check out Omnia. Let's get back to the video. Let's go back <laughs> Alrighty, brand new lake. I just kind of drove around it for a little bit. Um, found kind of like this back floating bog area. I don't know if you can see that there. It's like a floating bog. And then beyond it, there's a bunch of laydowns. Um, I've been casting chatterbait a little bit. I caught a couple small fish. But I decided to put the GoPro on now because this like floating bog area that has all these laydowns back here just looks spicy. It looks way too spicy not to hold some fish. So I've got on just a little weightless Cinco. I don't know how many laydowns are back there but it looks way too good not to have fish so i'm just going to kind of creep up to it slowly fan cast in there a weightless and see what happens it looks way too good not to have fish oh something just ate at it got him got him got him got him back in this little bog get out of there oh that's sick oh that's sick not a big fish. <laughs> Just a little male. Get up here, buddy. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> okay. There's definitely um, uh, little males kind of in this back little bog area. That was cool. If I hook a big one from way back here and I got to bring him out through this, I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to get him out, but hook him first, figure it out later. Way back, way, way back on the Stinko. <sighs> oh gosh, she done ate it. Boom. Catching a lot of fish where they're probably gonna be up spawning. Super weird. Catching a lot of fish in these back areas.
lot of little males in this back cut that ain't never seen a bait before see you buddy just a little weightless Cinco and I'm back basically just in this flooded bog area and I don't know if there's any big fish in this lake they all seem to be about that same size like one pound not that I'm complaining I'm just saying I can't find any big fish Talk to me. How was your day, Con Dog? Yo, Ladies hello. and gentlemen, this is Connor. I can't believe I haven't really shown him on cam yet. We're staying at his cabin. Talk to me. How was your day? It's good. I mean, we caught a lot of fish. Um, not a lot of big ones, but you know, probably over a hundred fish, and just absolutely destroying chatterbaits and swim jigs. And you know, we had never fished lakes before, so you don't really know what you're getting. So they weren't giant fish we caught, but it's at least fun to show up and be able to catch a bunch of fish on random little lakes. Mrs. Frizzle, how was your day? Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, caught a ton of fish. Absolute ton of fish. And uh, on this lake right here, we had uh, a whole bunch of big pike too. So that was a little bonus. Hey, Brock and Connor caught a ton of fish. I'll make sure to link Brock's video below, Connor's Instagram. Um, they crush fish all the time. Uh, crazy day for me as well. They were the ones that originally found like this weed flat that was extremely wind blowing and those fish are just stacked up on it. That's from lake number one. And that was just like, as fast as you could throw the chatterbait out there and as fast as you could reel it in, is as fast as you're getting bites. So let me kind of show you my chatterbait setup here. This is a Dobbins Champion XP uh, 735 crankbait glass rod. Um, if you've never thrown a chatterbait on glass, I highly suggest it. Uh, that's like solely my chatterbait rod. My chatterbait never comes off of it. I love it. The glass kind of takes all the play of the fish, so whether they're way far out or right next to the boat, it seems like once you hook up with a fish, it's like, just hold on, because they've got no chance. So make sure you check out that rod. I'll link it down below. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching the video all the way to the end. We've got some cool videos coming up later this week. Um, we're gonna go to some sneaky little lakes and hopefully crush some giant largies. And um, yeah, Brock, myself, and Connor, we're just enjoying time up here. We're enjoying the cabin. We have great weather and um, all is well. So thank you so much. I appreciate you watching the video all the way to the end. I guess there's nothing left to be said and stay tuned. And as always, let the adventure begin. See you. Move ahead. Oh my pretty babe. Something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead. Move ahead.